Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech, another gaming news video with myself, Amata. I have some news for you today concerning, finally, Total War Rome 2's release date, which has been confirmed just today by Sega as the September the 3rd, and has also revealed a collector's edition of the game, as well as some pre-order bonus DLC. This is available in both physical and digital formats of the game. Uh, you can get free access to Day 1 DLC. DLC, which will come with the Greek States Culture Pack, which features three additional playable factions, Epirus, Athens, and Sparta, and Sega has this to say about that. These factions have their own unique units, buildings, mission, and win conditions alongside a distinct tech tree, and in the case of Sparta, will present a considerable challenge to the advanced player wishing to restore the famous city-state to its former glory. And of course, Sega did announce Pontus as a ninth playable faction in the game, a figure that will rise to 12 with the DLC. So Pontus, if I remember correctly, is also available as a free DLC on day one, but I don't believe that was a pre-order bonus. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is a collector's edition of the game, which will only have a very limited run of 22,000 individually numbered copies. And there's a very good reason for that, as uh, it's going to cost the price of £110. The version comes with in a debossed steelbook case, laser etched with your unique collector's ed edition number, in Roman numerals, a tabular set, which is the Roman forerunner to Backgammon, which comprises a set of 30 bone effect game pieces supplied in their own burlap string drawstring bag excuse me the board itself is built into the base of the collector's edition box as well as that it comes with tesserae dice three replica bone effect dice for use in a variety of games the design is based on original roman tesserae found at the archaeological site of herculaneum as well as that you get some total war cards punic wars designed from the ground up to echo elements from rome 2 total war cards is a game of skill and luck for two players involving combat tutorial control resource management and technical Technological development. Punic Wars consists of 58 high quality playing cards and a game printed with a game board, excuse me, printed with the Punic Wars tech tree. And it does not stop here. You also get a canvas campaign map. Uh, this ribbon tied canvas depicts each of the 57 provinces that will be featured in the Rome 2 campaign. And finally, you will get a complete fully functional Onaja, a Roman siege catapult. This is a, something you have to assemble yourself and it's constructed from weathered wood and steel and will measure 26 centimeters by 12 by 12 and is capable of unleashing small projectiles as a variety of inanimate objects which may have affronted the glory of your empire. So a rather beasty collector's edition to say the least, but the price is also pretty beastly in itself. I do hope they're just going to do a special edition of the game that perhaps come with the pre-order DLC outside of well pre-ordering and something like that, as well as having this rather beasty collector's edition, because I don't think many people are going to buy this, which is obviously why they're only making 22,000 copies of it. They've kind of thought of that already. It's pretty damn nice, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool just for all the board games stuff and that that you get I mean I don't know if I'd call it worth the price personally but that's entirely down to the individual person so it's kind of down to you personally I wouldn't but it's kind of cool so yes we finally have a release date for this game which is great um, I've had a ton of information for you guys on this game recently but this is the first reveal we've had on that the only issue I have is that they've taken parts of the game out and basically made it DLC yes you don't pay for it if you pre-order but I have no doubt that you will have to pay for it say a month down the line if you don't want to pre-order the game it probably won't be very expensive probably be like maybe five pounds or something like that but that's not really the point they've taken content out of the game which is clearly ready at day, day one because it does say that it will get free access to day one dlc right here at the information i'm looking at and uh, yeah which is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine it's not really good practice in my opinion but it's not exactly the hugest deal in the world although people who perhaps might want to play as such a famous faction as Sparta might be a little bit peeved and I wouldn't really blame them anyway that's me done for this video thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time bye for now